This should be a real good puffin trip, if we can see anything. You can look, but you can't touch. This is the Maine Coastal Islands National Wildlife Refuge. Most of the refuge consists of offshore islands, some of them home to nesting colonies of seabirds. You can't go on them, but you can get close. The Maine Coastal Islands National Wildlife Refuge spans 200 miles of coastline containing more than 50 islands, more than 70 at low tide. Many contain nesting seabirds. Three are home to breeding Atlantic puffins. Let's hit those puffin islands, starting with Seal Island. Seal Island is big, 65 acres snaking a mile long. There are seabirds all over it. And if you want to visit, you've got to get on this boat. Isle of Ho Ferry is a nonprofit boat service that serves Isle of Ho, a fishing village with about 40 full-time residents of the island and a bunch more in summer. The southern half of the island is part of Acadia National Park. Every Sunday and on occasional weekdays, the boat makes a special trip out to Seal Island. Get on it. Seal Island is about 17 miles south of Stonington Harbor. It takes Otter about 80 minutes to get there, but there's plenty of scenery along the way on most days, and there's a lot of birds. Common and Arctic terns dominate the sky, chasing off opportunistic gulls. 5,000 terns cram onto the north end of the island where most of the puffins are nesting. They provide good protection from predators. Great blackback gulls are the largest gulls in the world, but they keep a half mile distance from all those terns. Half the puffins are underground on this visit. They're still sitting on eggs, which should start to hatch in the next week or so. So with no hungry mouths to feed, many puffins are just loafing around. This island is also the second largest gray seal pupping colony in the United States. Although that happens in winter, a lot of them are still hanging around. The south end of Seal Island is crowded with cormorants, both great and double-crested cormorants. All right, goodbye Seal Island. Hello, Petit Manan. There are five puffin colonies along the coast of Maine, and about nine commercial boats that I know of that serve those islands with tours. Now, I don't play favorites. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I love this boat. This is Acadia Puffin Cruise. It leaves the dock in Strubin, so it's only a half an hour ride out to Petit Banan. Now, the other boats from Bar Harbor are good too. This one is just wicked convenient. You're in Maine. It can be hot one day, cold the next. Most days aren't foggy. Some days are. Sometimes this is your scenery. Sometimes this is. Petit Manan, French language for small, indigenous language for island. This is also the second tallest lighthouse in Maine at 118 feet. It's only 10 acres, so all the birds are concentrated right near the boat. Atlantic puffins, razorbills, common murrays, black guillemots, all four alcid species nest here. Common and arctic terns nest here, and even a couple pair of roseate terns. It's also Maine's largest colony of laughing gulls. Maine Coastal Islands National Wildlife Refuge isn't just islands. I'll meet you at a great trail right over there. I love national parks, who doesn't? But if you really want to see wildlife, you can't beat a National Wildlife Refuge. In my opinion, this trail at Petit Banan Point, the Hollingsworth Trail, is the best. In fact, if I had a top 10 list of all the best trails in Maine, this would be on it. Uh oh, a pair of dark eyed juncos snapping at me. They're either nesting here or about to. Gotta get out. Shh. She doesn't know I'm here. Harry Woodpecker drumming. 
Nashville warbler singing. Palm warbler, what are you doing here? You're usually up the trail, you know, a couple hundred yards that way. Well, so far, the score is 14 common yellow throats, magnolia warbler, two. This rate, the magnolia warblers will never make the playoffs. Another nice cedar bog. Magnolia warbler, black and white warbler. This spot is so full of spruce grouse poop. I'm gonna have to wipe my feet leaving. Red crossbill. Usually we get type 14, Sitka spruce red crossbills, but I'm not sure about this one. If you want to know how big a territory a bird holds, Look how close different males will sing to each other without a fight. There are three different American Red Starts all singing within 50 yards of each other. And this is where the forest meets the ocean. So this is Patipanan Point, or over there is. And that out there is Patipanan Island. In fact, Bar Harbor Whale Watch is out there right now. The Maine Coastal Islands National Wildlife Refuge. This is one ice cold beer short of heaven.